From the first monkey that ever launched into the great beyond to a pack of crazy geckos that met a tragic end, here are 10 animals that we sent into space. Number 10, Miss Baker, the space monkey. Miss Baker is the original space monkey, or maybe I should say was the original space monkey. In May of 1959, Miss Baker and Miss Abel became the first United States animals to complete a flight beyond our atmosphere and into the beyond, into the great unknown. Miss Baker was a Peruvian squirrel monkey. She was selected from a small group of 25 other monkeys who had all been trained at the Naval School of Aviation Medicine. If this sounds completely ridiculous, that's because it is. There was a literal training program in the 50s to teach monkeys how to go up into space. While Miss Baker is the most famous, she had another monkey friend with her too, Miss Abel, who was also stuffed into a little monkey flight capsule, dressed in a specially designed spacesuit, wired up with electrodes and then flung into space. The suborbital flight only lasted 15 minutes. The monkeys traveled 300 miles or almost 500 kilometers above the surface and then came back down to Earth. Amazingly, both Miss Baker and Miss Abel weren't dead. After this, they were flown to Washington for a press conference and treated like celebrities. Miss Baker was transferred to the US Space and Rocket Center in 1971, where she went on public display. She died of natural causes in 1984. Number 9. Muscled Mice Genetically modified mice were recently sent to the International Space Station. When I say genetically modified, I'm talking about real super mice, modified by science to be extra strong. Are you picturing a little mouse flexing right now? Anyways, 40 female mice from a lab in Maine were manipulated using genetics to have their muscles grow significantly larger than ordinary mice, about twice as much. It was an experiment known as Rodent Research 19, and it was designed to study how bone density and skeletal muscle mass can be damaged by prolonged time spent in space. Specifically, scientists were interested in using special treatments to block molecular signaling pathways to prevent muscle and bone density from being lost without gravity. This sounds like a lot of crazy science, and it honestly is. Scientists use a special agent to block the pathways of the genetically modified mice. There was also a control of mice that didn't receive the agent. Those that received it maintained and in some cases increased muscle mass even without any gravity. They also recovered quicker once returning to Earth. The consensus here is that by blocking certain hormones in the brain, scientists can actually prevent muscle loss in the animals when stuck in space with no gravity. Fascinating. Number 8. Laker, the space dog. Laker was a Soviet space dog who became one of the first animals to enter space. She was the first animal that ever orbited our planet, which was a pretty successful accomplishment for a stray dog who started life on the streets of Moscow. Depending on how you feel about animal rights and stuff, you may consider this quite the come-up story. She went on the spacecraft Sputnik 2, which was launched into low orbit on November of 1957. But the story of Laker is actually a very sad one. According to the Smithsonian Magazine, there was no plan for her recovery or survival. The brutal Russians sent her into space with no intention of bringing her back to the surface alive. Because of this, the poor dog died either from overheating or because of asphyxiation shortly after entering outer space. This may seem extremely cruel, and it most definitely is, but at the same time, at that time, there wasn't actually the technology yet to bring an animal back from space. Scientists also believed that humans would never be able to survive being launched off-world. The only way to test it, the Soviets saw, was to let a dog try. The experiment proved that a living passenger would indeed survive the micro-G environment, and it helped pave the way for the first humans to be launched into space. So while Laker tragically died in outer space, she also paved the way for the future of space travel. Number 7. The first cat in space. Six years after the Russians launched Laker the dog into space, sending the poor pup to a death, the first cat was then launched into space. The big difference here is that the cat survived. The feline was named Felicet, and to this day she is the only cat that has ever survived a solo journey into space. Space Cat! It was part of a suborbital mission in 1963, and it only lasted about 15 minutes. She was recruited by France as part of a rigorous training program involving 14 cats. She was chosen as the most promising candidate and launched from a French base in the Sahara Desert. She travelled to an altitude of 100 miles or about 160 k's above the surface of Earth, 
and after 15 minutes, the capsule containing the cat detached from its rocket and fell back to the ground. The parachute safely deployed, and the cat was rescued, still alive. But things get pretty gruesome for our feline friend. Just a handful of months after her safe return, scientists euthanized her, cut her out of brain, and studied it in the name of science. In 2017, a Kickstarter campaign was launched for the brave space cat to get her a memorial. Just recently, after receiving $57,000 in donation, Philosette finally got the memorial she deserves. How do you feel about animals being launched into space? Let us know in the comments below, and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 6. NASA's Space Fish NASA recently sent 32 fish into space. The fish went up with three astronauts, including Commander Kevin Ford. They journeyed to the International Space Station. But just why in the world would NASA send fish to space? According to Business Insider, it was part of an experiment to see how microgravity would impact marine life. Specifically, scientists were interested in seeing what kind of skeletal changes would happen to fish in an environment without gravity. Basically, they just did this because they could. The fish chosen for the mission were madaka fish, a type of freshwater fish found in Southeast Asia. Because they have transparent skin and it's easy to see their internal organs, they made the perfect experimental candidates. They were put into a specialised aquatic habitat. Shortly after, they died. The fish began dropping like flies, though of course they couldn't actually drop because there was no gravity to pull them down. The fish died one by one for unknown reasons, though a biologist might suggest that the stress of being taken from a river in Southeast Asia to the International Space Station may have had something to do with it. The dead fish were sent back to Earth as specimens to be studied, while researchers preserved the few fish that still lived in the freezer. Chances are, those are dead too. As for what scientists learned about fish bones in space, well, they haven't actually published any of their findings just yet. Number 5. Ham the Chimp In the 1950s, NASA was at work training chimpanzees to fly a spacecraft. After all, chimps are our closest biological relatives in the animal world, and it made sense to send a chimp into space before a person. This kind of thing would never fly today, but in the 1950s it really was the wild west of science. The monkey chosen was one of 40 chimps acquired for the program. All the chimps were trained in G-Force simulators at the Holloman Air Force Base in New Mexico. But the most important training was for the chimps to learn to pull a simple lever whenever a blue light flashed on. To do this, scientists would reward the chimp with a banana each time it pulled the lever at the appropriate time. When the chimp failed, it would get an electric shock to its feet. Horrible, I know. In the end, the training worked though. A chimp named Ham was chosen in 1961 to be the first hominid sent into space. He was allegedly chosen out of six promising participants because before the flight he was feisty and in a good mood. During the flight, Ham performed exceptionally well. The monkey was one of the first ever to experience over six minutes of weightlessness. When the blue light came on, he pulled the lever. This proved that humans could perform simple functions in space. The mission only lasted about 16 minutes and then Ham the Chimp splashed down in the ocean. He survived and lived the rest of his life in a zoo in North Carolina, dying in 1983 at the ripe old chimp age of 25. Number 4. The Bullfrogs On November 9, 1970, NASA sent a pair of bullfrogs to space in the name of science. The bullfrogs were tucked inside a small satellite. The poor bullfrogs had no idea the one-way journey they were about to embark upon. The bullfrogs orbited the planet for six whole days along with a heap of small instruments and sensors. Back on Earth, scientists were observing the effects of zero gravity on the confused and probably very upset bullfrogs. And believe it or not, it was all about the inner ear. Scientists wanted to know how the inner ear balance mechanism would function in a space environment. The mission was dubbed Orbiting Frog Otolith 1, the otolith being the piece of the inner ear that scientists were interested in. The frogs were secured inside of special living containers outfitted with heaters and artificial lungs to keep them alive. However, before they were sent into space, scientists disconnected their ability to move by cutting their nerve endings. The experiment was a success. Scientists found out that after a couple of days, the frog's ears normalized. In other words, scientists learned that people's ears could more or less get used to being in the great vacuum of space. As for the frogs, well, they died. Number three. Space spiders. Spiders have actually been sent into space more than once. One of the more recent experiments was by NASA to discover how arachnids operated in zero gravity. 
You may have noticed that when spiders sit in their webs, they always have their head pointed down. This is so that they can catch their prey faster, moving in the direction of gravity. To find out how they would adapt to living in space, NASA sent a few different spider species to the International Space Station back in 2008. One of the spiders escaped and vanished, which is totally understandable. One minute you're just sitting in your web, the next you're being sent into space? Heck no, I'd try to escape too. Then, the other two spiders couldn't quite figure out how to spin their webs in that kind of environment, and they got tangled up. The last horrible thing that went wrong was that the flies sent to be the food for the spiders reproduced far faster than expected, and after about two weeks, the researchers couldn't even see the spiders because they were literally buried under a mountain of space flies. It was a total disaster and one of the biggest experimental failures with insects ever on the ISS. In 2011, when the opportunity for a similar experiment on board the ISS came up again, Dr. Samuel Joshke of the University of Basel got involved to prepare and analyse their new attempt. This time, the experiment would go differently. It started with four spiders of the same species. Two flew to the ISS in separate habitats and the other two stayed on Earth in separate habitats. The ones on Earth were kept and observed under identical conditions as their fellows travelling in space, except that they were exposed to terrestrial gravity instead. Number 2. Microscopic Worms Speaking of weird insect experiments, worms were launched into space in 2018 and there's a follow-up mission planned for 2021. The missions are part of an experiment to better understand why astronauts lose their muscle mass while living in space. As you may already know, after six months in space, an astronaut can lose up to a shocking 40% of their muscle mass. The worms were supposed to help them with that. The worms were quite small, only able to be seen under a microscope. Still, they do share some essential characteristics with humans. We both use muscles to move from one place to another. On board the International Space Station, the worms are to be put inside of a special device crafted as an obstacle course for the microscopic worms. A microscopic camera will then watch how the worms manoeuvre through the obstacle course and how their movements change over time. The experiment was already done once between 2018 and 2019, but the findings were never released. Now, there's a new project happening in 2021 involving the same worms and trying to solve the same problem. We're hoping this time there will be more scientific revelations made thanks to the brave worms. Number 1. The Sex Space Geckos the Russians recently sent five geckos into space as part of a weird sex experiment and they all died. According to the BBC, the geckos probably froze to death after the heating system malfunctioned. But just what exactly was this weird Russian space sex gecko experiment? It was actually pretty legit. The scientists wanted to study the effects of weightlessness on the sex lives of geckos. For what reason? Beats me. Unfortunately, they didn't get any results because they all froze to death. However, the fruit flies that were sent into space with the geckos as food survived and reproduced. Nobody really wanted that to happen, but at least it's proof that flies, the most annoying things in the world, can still turn into huge pests in space. Thanks for watching. How did you feel about the animals in space? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe for more great stuff. See you next time. Bye.